sir, comma, it had been further argued on behalf of the defendants that under section 34 of the specific relief act comma the plaintiffs must have a direct interest and entitlement over the property comma for which the declaration is sought stop section 34 of the specific relief act states discretion of court as to declaration of status or right stop any person entitled to any legal character comma or to any right as to any property comma may institute a suit against any person denying comma or interested to deny comma his title to such character or right comma and the court may in its discretion make therein a declaration that he is so entitled comma and the plaintiff need not in such suit ask for any further relief comma provided that no court shall make any such declaration where the plaintiff comma being able to seek further relief than a mere declaration of title comma omits to do so stop in the present case comma the plaintiffs are not seeking a declaration that they have a beneficial interest stop a derivative action is sought only for the beneficial interest of the second defendant stop the second defendant has however abjured such interest stop next para when such disclaimer or abjuration is the result or effect of collusion or fraud or further aspects to be examined stop such abjuration has to be weighed with the flow of funds through the second defendant to the first defendant comma leading to the allotment of shares to the third to the seventh defendants stop examining all these aspects can only be through advancing oral and documentary evidence stop this would further imply that the suit has to be retained on file stop it had been further contended that the suit relief is barred under section 187c of the companies act comma 1956 stop it had been contended that primarily the third comma fourth and seventh dependents should first make a declaration that though the shares are in their names comma a beneficial interest had accrued to the second defendant stop similarly comma the second defendant has to make a declaration that they are the beneficial interest holders of the said shares stop it has been contended that in the absence of the above declarations seeking a declaration against the first defendant would be akin to putting the cart before the house stop i hold that the declarations made or not made in the books of the first defendant would be to the exclusive knowledge of others stop